I hope you're well. Welcome back to one of my videos. My name's Selena and if you're new to my channel, welcome. I release a crochet tutorial every week, so make sure to subscribe if you enjoy crochet tutorials. So this week I'm bringing to you a new installment in my um, vintage crochet series for this um, Victorian um, drawstring bag. I absolutely love it. I uh, will be writing all the details like the size and everything on my blog as well as the free pattern on selinaveronique.com. This will be linked in the down bar along with all the materials that I've used. Of course I will be taking you step by step step through the materials and the tutorial don't worry but just so you know everything will be also listed in the down bar and on my blog so for this project I used um, this yarn which is called Shawn in a Ball by Lion Brand Yarns in the shade 203 Mindful Mauve and it's a really really lovely yarn I think it really gives off that vintage vibes um, I also used a 6mm crochet hook as well, as well as a tapestry needle and a pair of scissors. I also used, but this is optional, some beads just because I liked adding beads to um, the drawstrings. And this is a really easy project. So I hope you enjoy it. I will be using US terms and thank you so much for watching. So to begin this pattern you will be making a slip knot. So just go ahead and create a slip knot like so. Pop your hook through and once you've done that just chain four. So one, two, three, four. Once you've chained four, you will be going into um, the first chain and slip stitching to close off this and then you will have a, a ring into which you will be um, working. So now that you have a circle into which you are going to be working, you are going to chain three, one, two and three. And this counts as your first double crochet. And you are going to be placing 13 more double crochets within this ring so that we have 14 in total as this counts as a double crochet. So just wrap your yarn around your hook, go into that center. I will be um, working in my loose end as I go. Pull up a loop, you've got three loops on your hook. Go through two loops and go through two loops and just crochet 12 more, so three, so that we have 14 double crochets in total, so four, five, so I'm just going to let you carry on until you have 14 double crochets including this chain three. So now that you have 14 double crochets, you are going to be um, slip stitching through that chain three from the beginning. And there you go. And what we will be doing is um, pulling this loose end to close off um, this ring and fasten this in. So at the end of the project, because this will be the bottom of your um, drawstring bag so it needs to be nice and secure. So for the second round we are going to be chaining three, one, two and three and this counts as our first double crochet and we are simply going to go back into that set. so with this first stitch here and we are simply going to go into that um, stitch once again to um, pop another double crochet into that, so that's two double crochets together inside one stitch. Go into the next stitch with two double crochets, one and two, and then go into the next double crochet and place two double crochets into that. 
and so on. So just place two double crochets together in each um, stitch until you reach the end of this row and then I'll show you what to do then. So now that I finished row two, I'm just going to slip stitch to that first chain three like we did previously. And don't forget, I am going to tighten this um, and tie it in at the end nice and secure. So that's the center. So now for round three, we are going to be chaining three, one, two, and three. And this counts as a double crochet. Um, go back into that stitch with another double crochet. And that's two double crochets in that stitch together. Place one double crochet into the next stitch. And just place one into that next stitch. Into the next stitch, place two double crochets together. So one and two. And then in the next stitch, place one double crochet on its own. And then in the next stitch, place two double crochets. And we will be alternating this um, until we reach um, the end of the row. So in one stitch, place two double crochets together and then in the next one and then in the next two and so on until you reach the end of this round and I'll show you how to finish this round. So I finished practically round three and I am simply going to be slip stitching through this stitch. I just wanted to show you that I have finished on one double crochet on its own and I'm just going to slip stitch like so. And now for row four, I am going to chain three, one, two, and three. And this counts as a double crochet. I'm going to go back in that stitch with another double crochet. And I'm going to go into the next stitch with only one double crochet. And then into the next stitch with a one double crochet. So this time we are going to have two double crochets together, one double crochet on its own, another double crochet on its own, and then in the next stitch, two double crochets together, one and two, and then one double crochet on its own in the next stitch, and one double crochet on its own in the next stitch again, then two double crochets together in the next stitch and so on so just crochet two double crochets together in one stitch then one double crochet on its own another double crochet on its own then two double crochets together then one double crochet then one double crochet then two double crochets together so just carry on doing this for the fourth round and I'll show you what to do after that. So I finished round four and now I'm simply going to slip stitch like so to close off this round and now we finished um, the basis of our string bag. So now for the next row, now that we've finished um, the basis of our bag, we are simply going to chain three, one, two, and three. This counts as a double crochet. And we are simply going to, so it goes with this stitch here. And so we ca what we are going to be doing is simply placing a double crochet into each stitch from now on. So just one double crochet into each stitch from now on until um, we reach the other side of um, this round, well the beginning of the round. So just go ahead and place a double crochet on its own all along this um, row and this is going to build up the height of the drawstring bag and so once you reach the beginning just slip stitch through that stitch just like I showed you for this part but for this part we are simply going to be doing one double crochet in each stitch 
and you will be repeating um, this row nine times. So you will have 10 rows in total of just one double crochet in each stitch, if that makes sense. And this is what it's going to look like. I'm gonna try and show you on camera because I've already created my prototype. Okay, so like I said, I've already created my prototype. And so I've um, crocheted my 10 rows of simple double crochets. So I'm just gonna let you carry this on and then I'll show you um, what to do once you've um, reached row 15. Okay, so once you've finished um, row um, 15, we are simply going to be um, creating a row of um, shell stitches. So I'm just gonna try and show you. Obviously this is working in the rounds, so it's a little more tricky to show on camera. So just chain three, one, two and three. And this counts as our first double crochet. And inside that same stitch here, we are going to be placing six more double crochets. So two, three, four, five, and six. And that's means we have seven double crochets total because the first chain one counts as a double crochet. I'm just gonna zoom in a bit. So this is our first shell. We are going to be skipping one, two, three stitches and going into that fourth stitch here and placing seven double crochets into that one two, three, four, five, six, seven, double crochets. And now we are simply going to be skipping one, two, three, Yes, one, two, three stitches and going into the fourth with a double crochet and seven double crochets actually total. So just go ahead and carry this on, placing seven double crochets into one stitch, then skipping three stitches and then in the fourth, placing seven double crochets. So I'll let you carry on until you um, almost reach the end of the other side. So we started here and you'll need to go to here approximately and I'll show you how to finish it off. So just go ahead and do that and I'll show you how to finish off this round. So I finished um, this row of um, shell stitches and I finished in um, this um, so one, two, three, so it would be the fourth um, double crochet so that uh, before the end, if that makes sense. So because we've been skipping three each time, one, two, three, going into the fourth, now we've got one, two, three stitches left, if that makes sense. And we are simply going to be slip stitching to the chain three of the beginning to close off this um, this bag so it looks absolutely beautiful. I'm simply going to snip off my yarn and um, pull this through like so. And this is our body of the bag finished. So now we are going to be making the drawstrings. So now I'm going to show you how to make your two um, drawstring bags. So um, this, I'm going to make two. I've actually um, added um, some pearls at the end of um, 
of my um, on one end of um, the drawstring bags just because I thought it would look nice so that's optional and I'm just going to show you how to make them so to begin um, so you need two of course so to begin you are just going to be um, chaining 100 so just go ahead and chain 100 one two three so um, I've chained a lot less but the principle is the same and we are simply going to be slip stitching. So skip the first chain here and go into the second chain and slip stitch into that and then go into the next chain and slip stitch through that. And so to slip stitch, it's very easy. You are simply going to go through the chain, pull up a loop and go through the loop like so. And you are simply going to be slip stitching through each and every stitch until the end of the chain. So I'm just going to let you do that. It's very easy. Once you've done that, just snip off your yarn, tidy up the loose ends and then I'll show you how to pop them on your bag. So to pop on your drawstring bag we are simply going to be, so we've got two and this is what it looks like. I've popped uh, my end through um, this needle and we are going to be going through the um, third row from the end. So this is one row the chain, uh, the, um, the shell stitch edging, then the row of double crochets, and we're going to go in the row of double crochets underneath that first row of double crochets, if that makes sense. So just go ahead, and I'm simply going to be um, going in and out of um, three uh, double crochets, if that makes sense, like so just to um, secure the drawstring onto um, the bag like so and we're going to go all around so I'm just going to um, switch this and just do the exact same I hope you can see. So it's very easy. So we're just going to do that until we reach um, the other side like this. And this is what it looks like. And this is our draw, our string, drawstring on one side. And we are going to be doing the exact same on the other side. So now we're simply going to be doing the exact same but on the other side of the project. So we are simply going in and out of this project on the other side. So I'm just going to let you do this all the way along and I'll meet you back to show you how to finish this. Okay, so that's it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. It's such a beautiful bag. I hope you like it. Thank you so much for tuning in. Bye-bye.